This video has Town Hall 13 attacks with hogs and miners. Welcome back to the channel guys, Judo Sloth here and in today's Clash of Clans video we're going to be showing you the most powerful combination within Clash of Clans. This had a 100% success rate in Carbon Finn's Birthday War, non-stop 3 stars. Let me give you a little bit of background information. All Town Hall 13's 50 versus 50 and every time the miners which got a new level at Town Hall 13 13 to level 7 alongside the hog riders in the same army they got a boost to level 10 every time they were used they got the three stars right off the bat fresh and it was epic guys so we're going to showcase that to you today initially i will be sure to break down one of the attacks from that war and then i will get out into multiplayer and see if we can replicate it now you might have noticed we are slowly upgrading our town hall 13 base and we do not yet have the hog riders upgraded i did upgrade the miners but I think for this video, I am going to upgrade the Hog Riders. So let's go ahead and gem the Yetis. I hate doing this, guys. But if you could possibly help me out, be sure to go into settings, more settings. And right at the bottom, you will find create a boost. If you are purchasing anything within the game, make sure to have code JUDO within that in order to help me out. I get a small kickback from that. But let's go ahead and get them Hog Riders upgraded to level 10, 224k dark. Let's go ahead and upgrade them. And yes, guys, we do have the Book of Fighting to get the Hog Riders to level 10. Now would be the time to use a Rune of Dark Elixir because we only have five days left to collect everything within this and make sure we upgrade our base properly. Otherwise, I will be losing some of the runes within the season challenges, and I don't want to do that. But let me know what you would upgrade in the comments section, and let's go ahead and break down that attack before I get out into multiplayer and see if I can replicate this success. For the minor hog rider hybrid combination let me know if you have a cool name for this down in the comments you deploy it exactly the same as what you would deploy a queen charge minor attack but due to both the miners and hog riders getting a boost at town hall 13 they just gel so well together now we did see this strategy come alive at town hall 12 but it's really got a boost here at town hall 13 people have been using it to great success because of the new splash damage defense, the scatter shot, I feel like the AI of the troops, the hog riders and the miners, being that little bit different means that it doesn't deal masses of splash onto any one troop. Because the hog riders will target the defenses, the miners will target anything, so they do kind of vary as they move through the base. But they do work together as long as you get that pathing down. So in this instance, Queen created a funnel down at the bottom and the Siege Barrack and King created a funnel at the top, leaving us this thin area for the miners and hogs to come straight through. Now notice the buildings as well. We have the Town Hall and the Eagle Artillery, probably the two most important defences that you can take down for this strategy. Now the main thing here is that hog riders can be quite surgical, they can get them defences quick, but the miners, you now don't have to worry if you're the queen is in the centre of the base, you've also got the royal champion to consider, the miners will get through that, and even if your hog riders get caught in a tornado trap, if it's well placed, the miners can get through and start taking down the defences to then help the hog riders. Very much like whether you use all hog riders or all miners, heal spells are going to be your best friend. Make sure you're using them in areas of splash. But if you do want to use a rage spell, often the center of the base is the best, but it's basically anywhere where there's high amounts of HP buildings, where it's going to take the miners a little bit to get through that. You might plan to use the rage on the queen, and then you might not need it, or the queen goes down. You can then use the rage on your main troops, and healers might switch 
swap across to hogs or miners. Again, I feel one of the strengths of this is that due to the AI being slightly different, the troops will split up, but as long as you've created the funnel, they will generally stay together. And in this example, it wasn't until they got to the back end of the base where they then started to split up. And at that point, the main parts of the base were down. It really didn't matter, especially because the healers swapped onto the miners. So that's the key principles of this. It's very similar to a queen charge miner, but you're using them both in order to get the added benefit of both troops. I will get out now and try and replicate that. We bring you a little bit of education in each and every one of the episodes, but we want to have fun as well, and that's where the Let's Play comes in, so let's see if I can replicate this strategy. So for the miners and the hog riders, we found a base with 600,000 gold, 600,000 elixir. It does have single target infernos, which is not ideal, which means we probably want to charge our queen into the eagle at the bottom of the base. That is probably the best option. Just get the eagle out of the way. And I think we just start this attack. Let's go with the queen, followed by the healers. Then let's, let's see where the queen goes here, because basically... You want to try and break open the area where the queen goes, obviously not the area where the queen doesn't go. So let's get one wall breaker in. Uh, then let's follow with a rage. Another wall breaker here to try and bust ourselves in. Hopefully we can get that queen into the base. Let's go baby dragon. Might be too, too late here, guys. The queen might not go in. She's not. She's not going to go in. Damn. Go into the base, queen. Nope, she's gone. She has gone. So let's let's maybe just get our king in there. Let's get the king in there to help. He's going to take out this area, and this is not ideal. Why don't we now get the royal champion in? We need that single target inferno down. Wow, what's happening here? My king's going to take out my queen. I've missed my... I've lost the ability. I really didn't think that was going to happen. I didn't think that was going to happen. Let's use that warden ability early to get through the single. Just to keep on to that queen. Then let's go with the slammer round to this side. That's going to help with the miners and hog riders getting into the base. Let's use a couple of um, his ability. This is not looking too bad, guys. This is not looking too bad. We've got the funnel created pretty well here for the hog riders and the miners to come straight into the base. Here they come, hog riders, miners. The good thing is the town hall does not have to be activated here. Queen takes it down anyway, so we actually don't have to worry about it. We should probably freeze this enemy queen, otherwise that might have spelled disaster. I think we're going to be good here. Time is our only factor. We've still got the wizard working that other side. Wow, we lost a lot of troops there. Did we? I'm not sure. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we didn't. They're doing okay. Once that Grand Warden gets a little bit further, let's use that ability. This is crushed. This is crushed. Let's try and clean up as best as we can, guys. But that's how you do it. Swagging. The heal. The freeze. The poison. We don't need them. Granted, the Town Hall upgrading was probably the best bonus we could have ever had for this strategy, but honestly, look at how much is left. Do you really think it would have been an issue? Because I don't. A freeze and a heal would have got us through that, even if it was max level. Even if it was level 5. Hog Riders and Miners, I'm telling you guys, they are crushing bases, and we've got to keep this up, because that was pretty nice. What do we have here? Yaggers. I mean, this is a weird base. Very weird. But it should be easy to create the funnel. Basically, for miners and hog riders, if I can get them into the center, that's all I need. Now, I've got three multis and an eagle in the center as well. But it's weird. It's got a ton of loot. I want to attack it. Why wouldn't we? Uh, is there a desired location to start the queen. I think let's go this side because the clan castle troops are there but also the sweeper is pointing away whereas up to the other side the air sweeper is pointing down to the side I want to attack to. Uh, let's go with the king on this side as well. Um, let's go baby dragon but I don't want to use too many troops to set the funnel because I don't have a lot of cleanup. Let's just put it that way. I don't have a lot of cleanup. Uh, let's go with the royal champion over there with the king as well. Let that royal champion do some work. Rage for the queen. Nice and early. Once we've got the funnel relatively set here, we can then get the hogs and the miners in. We don't have to worry. Um, let's actually go with the siege barracks over here. Siege barracks followed by 
Uh, let's just get them hogs and miners in. They'll go straight to the core now. There's nowhere else for them to... Wow, that was uh, that was awful. I just got trolled big style. There was a giant bomb right there, guys. I'm not going to put that heal in yet. Just because I don't feel we need it. I don't feel we need it. Now we can get the heal in. Should have froze this area. Let's freeze it now. Let's rage. Let's use that Grand Warden's ability. I was late on that Grand Warden's ability. Could have been a lot quicker than that, to be honest. This is wrecked. This is wrecked, guys. Oh, look at the Hog Riders coming out of the stone... Not the stone slammer. The siege barracks. I don't even need to use these spells again. I can just sit back. I can relax. And we can pull in the three stars for this one, guys. Just sending them troops around the base. Minion to send in to help get the Dark Barracks. Dark Barracks, what is wrong with me? The Dark Elixir Storage. Getting all flustered, guys. Getting flustered because the Hogs and the Miners are just too powerful. You've seen them wreck another base. Now, that one, granted, whilst it was a fun base, it wasn't the best designed. But we've had two huge loot raids, we've had two successes, and the Hogs and Miners, they're fun either way. They're powerful and they're fun, so let's move to the next one. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Two single target Infernos at the top of the base, so if we were to bring the Hogs and Miners into that, that would definitely be helpful. We could charge the Queen into the bottom. We've got a level 70 Queen on defense, so that's something we want to take. Multi Inferno though does have two wizard towers next to it, so I think we charge the queen into there. So let's go with um, with a baby dragon here, followed by the queen, one coconut loon, and then the five healers. Let's get one test wall breaker in as well. Does a good job there, gets one shot off, and let's get a couple of others in to try and help my queen into the base here. Um, is she going to go right? Let's get the king in, actually, because I just feel like the queen's going to walk if I don't. He might still walk. Queen, go... Ah, I didn't see that archer tower either. Queen, turn and go into the base, please. What are you doing? You need to go for the air defense. You need to go for the air defense, queen. She's not doing it. All right, let's get that royal champion in to help out. Now she goes for the air defense. Oh, my word. Not ideal. Let's get a rage in there, and then we can send wall breakers in to hopefully get that. We can freeze this to... Oh, the wall breaker went down anyway. Damn. So my queen's going to walk the other way. Okay, can we fix this? Can we fix it? Let's use the siege barracks over to this side to try and get that funnel started for us. We can actually get a minion. Can we get a minion onto there? Will that... Nope. The Stone Slammer was definitely in the way. Not the Stone Slammer. The... What's that thing called again? Scattershot. Scattershot. What is wrong with me? Okay. Let's go Queen's Ability. Now let's go Hog Riders. And let's go Miners. Everything in from this side. Grand Warden. Let's get a heal in early. This is looking good. My Queen is protected. I need to freeze the Town Hall as they come through. Hogs on the back end do a good job as well. Let's freeze that town hall. Let's get the heal in as well. Then my Grand Warden's ability will be used alongside the rage here. Just need to wait that little bit longer. Grand Warden's ability. Oh, some of the miners weren't within that. No. Okay, so I'm going to use another heal because many of the miners weren't within that. It's going to be close coming down to the end of it, guys. The miners, remember, will get under the Giga Bomb. Now let's use the rage. We might just about get it. Wizard to the bottom. Archers as well. Spread out. Look at all of the miners, guys. That is where the hybrid attack just really works. But look at that scatter shot. Doing work onto the miners. They get through. Grand Warden stepping up. We've still got one splash damage defense at the top here, but one miner tanks it. And I think we're good. I think we're good. That's how good this strategy is as well, because that was not an ideal attack either. Pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. As long as you can set that funnel. And now, there's a number of ways to do it. I used the Siege Barracks on that opposite side. You could use the King. You could use Baby Dragons. You could use whatever you wanted. I do feel taking that Coconut Loon definitely helped us. Okay, so we have Ninja. Is this the Ninja? Imagine. Imagine if Ninja played Clash of Clans and we were about to take him down. Well, we have Single Target Inferno. So not ideal to... Um, to charge, but just looking at this, guys, could we send the king into the top alongside Stone Slammer, maybe? I, 
kind of need the king to funnel this bottom side. Maybe royal champion. Maybe royal champion. Oh, I don't know what to do. Let's get the royal champion in here. Get the royal champion in. Followed by the siege barracks. Not the siege barracks. The um, stone slammer. Come on, funnel this side. Get that siege machine into the center. Single locks onto it. Let's freeze. Ah, goes down anyway. I want that single down, so I am debating. Use our oh, hog riders will get onto it, so that's nice. I don't really want to use any spells now that the single goes down. That's all I wanted, guys. That is all I wanted. Enough to get my queen into the base here. Now let's use the king over to this side. And my queen should go exactly where we want her to go. Let's use one coconut loon. Followed by the healers. Got them two air defense down. Um, let's use the baby dragon here. Push that queen in. King's doing a good job. Oh, no, 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 no. I might... Yeah, I'm going to freeze it. Just to help with that funnel, if nothing else, guys. Help with the funnel, but that's both of our freeze spells gone now. Where are the wall breakers going? They're going straight to the center there, so that's nice. Let's rage here. I don't help the wall breakers, but... Oh, no, no, no. My queen is out of range from the healers, and the ability gets popped. Not what we needed. Okay, I'm going to send the hogs and the miners in. Just to help that queen out. Hogs in, miners in, Grand Warden in. Come on, queen. Get yourself into the center of that base. I don't think she's going to, guys. Singles on my queen now, and I've got nothing. Oh, I used the Grand Warden's ability to protect my queen, and she went down. No! Ah, oh, okay. I don't know what we can do now, guys. I don't know what we can do. We've got the two, but I'm not sure that we can get the three. I've got that heal spell in for the miners and hogs, but any hog riders... Actually, it was all miners in there. It was all miners in the center. We might get fortunate. We might get fortunate. Let's just get our cleanup troops in around the base here. Still got some wizard towers at the bottom. Miners and healers, we've still got enough. Imagine if that queen was still alive. Miners to that side are getting shredded. Healers getting shredded. Miners trying to get through, but they're just going to go down, guys. Oh, no. Oh, it just didn't work out for us. What could we have done? Well, protecting our queen would have definitely been a benefit on that attack. Too late with the wall breakers. I needed my queen in towards that eagle, so that would have been helpful, and the queen would have got the town hall. I think delayed deployment of the wall breakers was probably the main fault of the attack. I kind of had the vision in my head as to what we were going to do, and if this is ninja, then we just failed. We just failed to take down his base. No. Anyways, guys. Hopefully that still showed you the strength of the attack. I'm pretty sure it will have. Because it was still a pretty okay attack. And if our queen got into that center, she would have indeed took it down. So I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. But before we leave you, why don't we go ahead and why don't we upgrade something for the next episode and i think that something has to be the yeti to level three it just so happens to rhyme but there we are the yeti the brand new troop is incredible and you want to try and max it as soon as you can why don't we use that lab portion just because we can if you guys have enjoyed today's video be sure to leave a like, be sure to subscribe, and if you want to see attacks using the miners themselves, just the miners, I'll be sure to link a video here for you. We did that just a couple of days ago, but I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Until next time, peace out.